What's up guys, it's Evan Here My brother's underground Laboratory And the way in Utani You search lab Today I'm gonna well show something my brother built. You can see the shadow, but here it is. My brother's is helicopter base ship. Something something like that. Eric, my little bro wanted me to help make a TNT cannon it work. Since his version you had a problem. I think that one, two, three Fire You have it at instant where it shoots for a little while and blows up right around here. One tick away, where it blows up farther. Two ticks, which it blows up farther. And this is a full tick. In my well bro cabin here. Hit captain one. It's a tick. And he has it downstairs. And also, I really like this. This is a bombardment. They fall out of the T T cannon and blow up right around here and then start sinking. Now I made this, the Xenomorph Queen mech thing. It's not the real queen, it's like a robotic version that can do the queen job for a little while until the actual queen comes. Queen is going to be much more beefier than these ones. But for this episode, I'm going to show you how to build a Z95 Headhunter. Hmm. But don't block. The Empire, okay, this is an Empire version, it's just what I find. Three on this side. For the Clone Wars one, just use quartz <laughs> version, which makes it much, much more simpler. Here we go.
here it comes. I like adding these back landing gears. Makes it seem much more real. Here we go. Might be three, might be four. I don't know. Here we go. Uh, where the here it is. Four of these to make the world guns barrels. Here we go. Now, where are the uh, the coal blocks, the levers, Where's making these? They always like using these. I like having it like this, you can see. So it doesn't look weird. Might look different on the tutorial, but. Oh, hang on. There we go. No, here. Two red dumb blocks up here, two down here. Now you can see how the Z95 Headhunter, the Clone Wars Arrow one looks. Pretty impressive. Now, when did. Okay. The Z95 Headhunter is used in the Clone Wars Arrow. It was used during almost the late end of the Clone Wars. But. Still use. Heck, I even got the Lego set version. Add these on. Here we go. In. Add the two blocks up here. Add them here. Go. And, and here's the Republic Z95 Headhunter. The Empire wanted much shorter, and the Rebels. Break this by one, that by one. Here 
you go. You can see how this looks. The shorter version is really short. And the nose is short. At the end of it. The two red blocks don't there very and everything else is still here. Here we go. The engines are the same. Here we go. And here we go. Now back here, I'm going to add a chest, and also in here. In here, you can add, in there, you can add anything, or in here. Now, the guns are a lot shorter. There are three blocks instead of the normal four blocks. Here we go. Here we go. And add two glass blocks. Add a slab here on both sides. Here we go. So you can jump out. The Z95 Headhunters were the prime goal of both the Republic and the Rebels. Heck, both the first generation of X-Wings were from the Z95. To make two more of these wings and attach them upside down and boom, you got yourself a Z95 X-Wing combination. Pretty dead. Nick. I use coal blocks here because they look like the engine, see? Kind of make it look weird on this side, but from this side it actually does look like an engine. These are like intact versions. <laughs> Shit in here. Do you know, there were a couple of the Imperial Z95s in here. Shit, this is... Imperial slash Republic Star Destroyer. When the Empire changed from Empire to Republic, it did that quick. There we go. Now, that's all. F hey, nothing new it's in my world. Zecto Zenar 5 and the Xenomorph. Or 5. Having a robot queen dropping eggs. Heck, even see the little queen 
seeing that it's already dropping your egg. Anyway, guys, that is for Evan. And, and always. It might be a shorter video than before, but I'm living it on time here. And always. Or toward Hong Kong. <laughs>